What's going on, my good people, man? I'm outside. Um, look at how beautiful it is today in Houston, Texas, man. We're on the north side, man, where you see usually see more green than you see uh houses and stuff all over the place. You know, south side of Houston, you're having all that traffic and congestion. You gotta come to that north side to slow down a little bit. But anyways, man, how y'all doing, man? I'm just out here paying myself, man, for all the hard work of the week, man. I'd put in some hard work, long hours. So I just figured I'd rather go on here and pay myself for all the uh great things that I've done for everybody else, man. Let me go on here and pay myself a little bit. But anyways. Oh, I keep wearing this here shirt, man. And say hashtag Duntell Strong. Well, this young man, let me talk about it for a second because I'm wearing a shirt. A um, couple years ago, he and his friend were riding to go play basketball. His friend had a car. He's like, I'm going to drive. So they jumped in the car together. And um, they were riding and somebody was coming and was not paying attention. At they uh, at they stop light, stop sign, and so they at they stop sign, they done did they little old stop, and they go. Well, the person wasn't paying attention, T bone, and so we would think that the driver of the car would be more hurt, but this young man done tell. What he did was, he um, jumped in front of his friend like he grabbed his friend and pulled his friend toward him, so he had. He took on more, you know, trauma from the accident than his actual friend. So while his friend is walking around fine, Dante got to figure out how to walk, how to talk, how to do all this stuff over again. And um, I see his mama working really, really hard with him. I see all those doctors working really, really hard with him, man. Just uh, a heartfelt pray to that young man. I always wear a shirt because I be wanting people to ask, who is, who is Dante and why is he strong? Um, that's because uh, this young man here sacrificed for somebody else. Sacrificed for somebody else. Now he's trying to figure out his way back on, you know, to good health. So, yo, man, just give a prayer for that young man. Um, you know, for good measure, man. He's a young man. He, I think he's about to be 18. But he's learning how to walk and talk all over again. He's learning how to do all of this all over again and so just giving my heartfelt prayers to that young man you know on this journey and that brings me to my topic today man living your life man the last topic was love yourself this topic is live your life man live your life man if i got to give anybody any bit of advice man live your life to the max man and when I say that, so um, at the shop where um, I do business out of, they hired a new employee and she 18. And I was telling her, I was like, man, do everything to the max, man. Don't leave nothing on the table. And she was like, what you mean by that? I say, so you working at this job, right? I said, learn everything at this job that you can possibly learn. Everything, don't leave nothing on the table. Ask them how I do this. How I do this? How I do that? How I do this? What is this? What goes in it? Everything. Ask everything. Because the thing about it is when you're doing it to the max, you're just trying to do a good job. You're not trying to just get by. You're trying to do a good job. So I was just explaining to her like how doing everything to the max will provide you for your next opportunity, wherever you're going to be at. Because you're 18, you're going to do a lot of moving around in your life. It's a lot of jobs that you're going to probably take on. But do every one of them to the max. And that's what I talk about with people when I say live your life. Like I had all these jobs through my life, man. And every job I was at, it did not matter where I was at, man. I sprouted where I was planted at. So when I worked at this particular company, man, I worked my butt off. I did all the late, late jobs. When it was Christmas Eve and we were still working, it's like, who want to take the last load? I was like, me all of that i'm doing it to the max when i was working overseas for those two companies in iraq and afghanistan i was going to the max 
man, we already ain't working 84 hours a week. I'm trying to do more than that. Y'all got some more work? I ain't got nothing else to do. Might as well be working. You working 84 hours a week. You doing seven twelves. When you wake up, you like, when you off day? You don't got no off day. Seven twelves. Man, do it to the max. Because the thing about when you get, like, I'm 43, broski, and I'm still fairly young. Um, when you get to 43, your body going to go through some changes. It's some stuff that you was doing at 20 that you ain't going to want to really do at 40. So you're going to have to get that up out your blood in your 20s and say, yeah, I don't want to do that no more. I'm going to go ahead and do it to the max somewhere else. Like, I done been through so many jobs. Then I left from overseas, and I said, I'm going <clears> to <throat> create my own job. Like, I started a personal injury clinic. I done had a, uh, a clothing line. I didn't have um, <coughs> real estate investing, government contracting. I'm talking about throwing darts at the wall. <clears throat> Trying to do it to the max, man. Everything that I'm taking, I'm putting up my own money for all of these businesses. Because just like Dave Dad said, and this is true to the fact, when you put up your own money, you really the boss. When you put up your own money, you really the boss. So for me, learning, you know, business is failing, all these things, that's a me thing. These are things that you can learn along the way. So after doing all of those particular businesses, I figured out, yeah, I don't really like that. Yeah, I don't really like that. I could come back to that later, but I don't want to do that right now. It's a lot of opportunities that you see. It opens up your eyes to new opportunities. You never limit yourself in that sense. You always growing, always growing, always growing, always going. Um, but how I got to this place where I'm owning my own business and now I'm finally starting to do it to the max. We are starting to get some contracts that's putting me ahead a little bit. Um, this is where doing it to the max, when you was doing it to the max for everybody else, now you can start doing it to the max for yourself. Now, I tell people when you wanna be an entrepreneur, if you don't already have that do it to the max in your blood, um, you need to do it to the max while you over there in somebody else's business, giving them all your hours. Don't be over there wasting your own time because you're only wasting your own time when you don't go hard. Because going hard is a you thing. When I be talking to my daughter, man, I be really on her ass about doing it to the max. I say, look, when we tell you to do this housework, don't give us some last minute, oh, I'm gonna do it because y'all told me to do it. Everything's a chore. Everything's a chore, you don't like to do it. I say, but when you get outside and you have to do this on your own, well, who's, who you gonna pay to do it? You gonna have to do it yourself. You gonna have to do it to the max on your own. But right now, because mommy and, Mommy and stepdaddy putting up all the bill for everything for you to twirl around and do everything and be great. Um, you don't think that you have to do it to the max. And people like that usually struggle out the gate because you don't have no skills because everything to you was a chore. The smart and wise find chores and turn them into businesses. There's people cleaning people's houses and they making some real money. It's some people, um, you know, doing all types of things they learn around the house. And they turn that into a money-making venture. It's people that's cutting grass for money. It's kids cutting grass for money. But you can turn chores into money just by doing it to the max. Putting some pride in what you do. So that's my message for the day, man. Live your life to the fullest. And do everything to the max, man. You never know when your last day coming, man. But if you done went to the max, look here, man. You ain't for to worry about um, leaving this earth. You know that you done done the job while you was here. Peace out.